Welcome to the Gallery of Dayak Iban Folklore. This episode is a fable taken from Nanda number 3. Fables in Dayak Iban Folklore are oral stories with reference to superhuman characters, which are usually about the people of Pangawibao or Glong, who live in the race realm. More often, the fables are oral stories in which personification of animals as characters are used to explain how the world works. For example, why do shrimps walk backward? Or why does a gibbon have no tail? Just like fables from other cultures, Daya Iban fables are rich sources for aphorism and proverbial statements. The fable you will hear in this episode is called The Shrews and the Quails. Have you ever seen a dead shrew on the road? This fable will explain why shrews die when they are crossing the road. Once upon a time, there lived a couple of quail birds and a couple of shrews. Both couples are parents to young hatchlings and young litters. They build their homes at the different ages of a farm. One day, Father Shrew and Mother Shrew went to look for food for their litters. In their search for food, they saw a bird nest. Inside the nest, there were two hatchlings with food left by their parents. Father Shrew said to Mother Shrew, Their parents are not home. We can snatch their food for our kids. That's a good idea, Father Shrew. Mother Shrew replied, This is a good time to do it, when their parents are not around to see it. So, they took the food from the hatchlings and brought it home to their litters. When Father Quail and Mother Quail came home from searching for food, they found their hatchlings cry inconsolably. What's the matter, darling? Mother Quail asked. Why are you crying? We're hungry, replied the older hatchling. Father Shrew and Mother Shrew took our food. My brother and I have nothing left to eat. Father Quail and Mother Quail went to look for the Shrew's family that lived in a hole of a burned down tree roots on the other side of the farm. How dare you steal food from our kids when we were not at home? Father Quail said angrily. I don't know what you're talking about, Father Shrew denied. We never stole food from you. Of course you did. Why else would my kids cry? Mother Quail chipped in high pitch. How do we know? Maybe they cried because you left them alone at home. Shame on you for neglecting your own kids. Yet you want to push the shame on us. Mother Shrew screeched. We are not here to shame you. We are here to ask you to be responsible for stealing our food. Father Quail squawked. Did you see us stealing your food? Father Shrew challenged Father Quail. Our kids saw you steal their food. Mother Quail insisted. That's a lie. We never went to your nest. How could you see us take anything from your nest? Your children are liars, just like you. Mother Shrew denied vehemently. Mother Quail lost her patience and struck Mother Shrew. Mother Shrew struck her back. Then, Father Quail started fighting with Father Shrew. They fought and fought and fought. 
day, both until they forgot they had children to take care of. They forgot they needed to eat. At that time, the animals did not have a penghulu, a leader whose job was to settle disputes between animals. A penghulu was to judge who was at fault and then decided what punishment was justified for the offense committed. Their last penghulu was Aji Bulan, a moon rat. Unfortunately, he did something offensive according to the norms and customs in the animal kingdom. Rumor has it that when some animals were building a war boat, the moon rat used one of their wood chips to clean his ear. When the animals found out about it, they were incensed. How could they have a creature who did not behave properly be the judge of who was right and who was wrong in the kingdom? Because of this offense, the moon rat was dismissed from the job. As a result, no creature stopped the quails and the shrews from fighting. They fought until they had no strength left to move. Even then, they were still dissatisfied. In the end, they resorted to throwing curses. The shrews cursed the quails. Should both of you or any of your descendants perch on a withering tree branch, you will fall and die. The quails was quick to retaliate. Should both of you or any of your descendants step over to a road built by men, you will die a horrible death. From that day onward, no quail would perch on a withering tree branch. The quails and their descendants heeded the curse given by the shrews. The shrews, on the other hand, did not care much about the curse that the quails gave them. They and their descendants liked to do whatever they wanted. Therefore, once in a while, some random shrew still stepped over to the road that men made. The poor shrew would end up being hit by a car before it could reach the other side of the road. The Ibans who see the shrew's dead body on the road will say, Do you see the dead shrew? That's the result of the curse from the quails. The end. This is all for episode 4. See you in the next episode. Your host, Indai Sampurai.